Yeah, well, today's a big day for us. Um, obviously, we learned yesterday that we would be hosting, and today we learned who we would be playing. So we'll be welcoming three hot teams here to Columbia. Um, now it's a matter of who plays the best baseball to advance, but really looking forward to a packed Founders Park. Uh, Want to continue to invite all the great Gamecock fans to come out and support this team um, and, and make this a really great home field advantage and, and environment for all of us. All right, we'll start with Dave and go to Mike. Hey, Mark, thanks for doing this. I know the field just got announced, but how familiar are you with Virginia since you got them first and then the other two teams in the field? Yeah, we'll have to go to work on all of them. We haven't played Virginia in a while. Obviously, I know their head coach um, and Andrew Abbott, one of their key pitchers, is a guy we had on Team USA a couple summers ago, and I know his ability and his talent. Um, past that, we're going to need to do a lot of homework on all these teams uh, over the next few days. Mike? Hey, Mark, congratulations. Uh, just wanted to know your thoughts on uh, obviously playing at home. I mean, there's such a, a huge home field advantage in college baseball. So how big is that for you guys? And then the second part, just the novelty of being a two seed and yet still being able to host, is that still weird for you? Well, playing at home is always something that you would prefer. Obviously, it doesn't guarantee anything. We went to East Carolina a couple of years ago and won a regional there. And, and you see that all the time. So uh, what it is, is it's a great starting point and it's a chance for uh, your home fans to support the team. And so that's what it is. After that, it's a matter of still playing better baseball than who you're playing. Um, but to me, it's a great it's a great starting point for the postseason to play at home and, and hope that you take advantage of it. Uh, Rick Henry. Sorry, Rick, I can't hear you. Yeah, you're on mute, Rick. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, Mark, congratulations. Just uh, I'm interested in your um, thoughts personally. Uh, you know, you've coached in the regionals and the super regionals uh, your first year here, um, had some big series, but now you get to coach the Gamecocks um, at Founders Park in a regional. Just how excited are you personally for that experience? I'm very excited because I think it's another good step for us in this, in this process. Um, you, you want to get to Omaha. You want to win national championships. That's what we all want to do here. So this is another another thing you need to do to try to make sure you're moving in that direction. So I just think it continues to show the proper progress that the process is is in place, and it's just another check the box moment for us and and trying to get this program to be where we all want it to be. John Whittle. First, congrats on earning the host site, and then. Thanks, second John. Secondly, what's the last, uh, I guess, five days or so been like for you guys? What, what, what have y'all been focusing on in practice? What's been kind of the message to, to the guys as y'all get prepared for this? Yeah, the biggest thing, John, for us was we wanted to get guys healthy, number one. Um, you know, we, our, our starting infield was, was being held together by a thread um, for about the last week and a half, um, you know, against Tennessee and in the SEC tournament. And we're getting those guys back to health. So that, that was really important. Uh, we also wanted to get our pitchers um, refreshed. Uh, Farr and Jordan made 14 consecutive starts over 14 consecutive weeks. And I think sometimes giving them a chance to, to get, get a just rest, uh, rest their arms, rest their minds. I know Vanderbilt did that with Jack Leiter a few weeks ago when he came back and, and started to look like he did early in the season. So that was the most important thing for us from a, from a team standpoint was to get guys healthy, get guys their energy back, get guys their strength back. We've been in the weight room quite a bit uh, and will continue to be over the next couple of days. Uh, and then from a baseball standpoint, it was just fundamental baseball, working on the fundamentals, the things that may not show up in box scores, um, but can win you a game, the base running, getting a bunt down, um, situational hitting, uh, defensive situations. We just worked on all the things that we think can help uh, win us baseball games. It's so, you know, it's getting, getting our strength back, getting our health back, and then just working on the finer points of the game. Uh, Cause those will come up in regionals, super regionals in Omaha. Um, the margin now is going to be very slim. So you just have to be on point with all the, the finer details of the game. Colin. Congratulations uh, for Thank getting you. Post. Um, I guess kind of continuing with that. How are Brennan, George and Braylon doing? Yeah, they're all moving in a really good direction. Uh, they're all they're all trending in a good direction. Uh, Brian Wells, our athletic trainer, has been working hard with them, 
And I think these two weeks will be very, very good for them and very beneficial. So uh, I'm optimistic that, that we will be able to see them all contribute. And I guess, how do you plan on structuring pitching? I know the different ways you can kind of coordinate within regionals. Just have you talked to Skylar at all about that? And what's kind of the plan? Yeah, we've been bouncing different ideas around. We're not prepared to, to give you an official rotation yet. We want to continue to do some more homework on the opponents and matchups and all those things. Um, you know, but we feel good that, that, that the guys that as of late have been in our weekend rotation will continue to be there. Just a matter of what order we decide to go in. Gene Sepka. Hey, congratulations, Thank Mark. You. Um, is there any motivational opportunities or chip on your shoulder type things with some people, you know, doubting whether you guys should have been a host or not? I mean, at this point in the game, I mean, I think everybody's playing really hard to win. Um, whether that little extra chip on your shoulder can help you, if it can help you, if we think it can help us, we'll use it. Um, it's like it's like any other week out of the year. It, anything you think can be to your advantage and give your, your guys a little bit of an edge. If we think that that is something we need, we'll use it. If we don't, then we won't. Um, but, you know, it's out there. Um, but what I can say in, in my in my opinion, is this team earned everything it's gotten so far this year. It's nobody's been challenged more. Strength of schedule was off the charts. Um, and, and, and we live to tell about it. So I think we've earned where we are and we'll continue to try to take advantage of it. Go ahead, Mitch Brown next. Coach, obviously not satisfied, but, uh, you know, just thinking about the last year, how much validation do you think it is for your team and your program to just get to this point, to be hosting a regional after, uh, last year and and now obviously trying to continue and build on to that benchmark there. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a really credit to these student athletes we have to the staff, to the coaches, to everybody that's helped us get to this point. Um, so much has gone on behind the scenes that the general public will never know just because uh, you know, because there's no reason to, to make things public, but in terms of what players had to go through um there's just, I know we've talked about it before, um, but this has been a hard year for everybody, you know, it, and it's coming off the back of not even getting to play last year. A year ago at this time, we were just trying to figure out if we were going to have a fall semester on campus. Uh, a year ago at this time, we were trying to figure out, will we have sports for the, for the next 12 months? Um, and then finally, when we got to the point where we could open it up and actually lift some weights, you know, that was the first step. And you could have, um, um, optional activities where your guys could could lift weights or maybe hit in the cage. That was a big step. Uh, and then they finally agreed that we're, we would be on campus, but a lot of it was was um, not in class learning. Uh, it just every step of the way has been a real grind to just try to get to the next step. So I give so much credit to, to everybody involved um, just to get to this point, because just putting a roster together was hard and just formulating a practice plan that followed all COVID protocols was hard and getting everybody to COVID testing was hard. And uh, obviously we're talking about sports and, and it's still, I don't want to overemphasize the importance of it because people dealt with a lot worse as a result of COVID. Um, but in this situation, this it's been the most challenging year um, that any team, any, any teams could have ever gone through. And I'm talking across the country. And then for our guys, you know, on top of that, to, to have faced, I think I saw a stat, you know, uh, play more games against the host teams, uh, the top eight seeds. Um, and we went on the road uh, to Texas and, and schools like that. It's just this team could have given in many times and, and just kept fighting, uh, kept persevering, showed a strong will and has put themselves in this position. So, again, it, we just want to continue to keep it going, see how far we can take it. But to me, um, to get to this point, I think is very impressive for, the, for that team uh, and those athletes we have out there. Go oh, Phil Corn. Yeah, hey, Mark. You guys played 21 games against the teams that are uh, ranked, uh, na nationally ranked in this thing in, in the top seven. Uh, how does that prepare you for regional play? I mean, do you feel like there's just nothing you can um, see out there that you haven't already seen this season? Well, a team like Virginia, a team like Old Dominion, Jacksonville. I mean, they'll they'll prevent they'll present new challenges. Um, like I said, if we, if we face who we think we'll face with Virginia, it'll be a, another big challenge for us. But this team has been challenged before many many times, and so I don't think we'll blink. I don't think we'll uh, 
be anything other than prepared and ready to go. And then it's about playing the best baseball you can. Um, but we've been challenged by the Arkansas and the Floridas and the Vanderbilts and the Ole Misses and the Mississippi States and the Texases and the Tennessees. I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing the number of games we've played against the best of the best. And so what you hope when you get to the postseason now is, is you get rewarded and, and your team uh, is in a good place mentally, physically to play great baseball. Colin? Mark, just what's the plan uh, for this week in terms of practice and what do you go about emphasizing? Do you still emphasize and, and work on the situational things or is it more scouting report opponent focus now that you get into regional time? It'll be a lot of it'll be a lot of still focusing on us because I still think baseball is a game where you have to play it properly on your side. Now, as we get closer to the weekend, um, there'll be more scouting report. It'll be more preparing for the style of play, whether you're, you're playing a speed team or a power team a team that bunts a lot, a team that, you know, um, it, it plays a certain type of defense. Um, well, as we get later in the week, we'll have more of that, but for the next day or two, it'll still be just focusing on us because it's still about how do you play the game? And, and uh, that'll be the main focus for us. Um, so we'll just continue to, to blend those two together and, and make sure that come Friday, um, you know, we're, we're in a good place. Uh, originally, I thought we would be playing at seven o'clock on Friday night but it appears we're going to be playing at noon. So uh, we were going to have a night practice uh, tomorrow night just to just in anticipation of getting ready for that. Um, but if we if we are indeed going to play at noon, then we'll probably just have a noon practice to to simulate the, the weather, the wind, the sun, the shadows, all those things to get ready for Friday. Go with the Cox. Coach, what is your strategy this weekend as far as your pitching rotation? Well, we're going to match it up um, again. I think you're looking at uh, some combination of, of Jordan and Farr and Carey. We just have to figure out what we think is the best way to play those three and what order to use them in. So uh, we'll get to work on that in the next 24 to 48 hours uh, and then make a decision on that. Dave? Mark, you mentioned the game times. Is that decided by the networks? Does the number one seed pick it? Does the host team pick it? How, how does that process go? Yeah, there's there's a uh, there's a process where uh, I think the networks. Are you guys there? Can you see me? Sorry about that. Sorry, Marco, you, your answer got kind of cut off there because you're. OK, yeah. Can you guys see me? OK, yeah. The networks, I think, have the ultimate say on what times are. Then the next step is the host team. Uh, and so I think at this point, while, while we would prefer for our fans to play a seven o'clock game uh, to get, you know, as many people out there as we can. I think the networks have taken over and said that they want the uh, Virginia, South Carolina uh, game to be on national TV. I believe it's going to be ESPN, two. Uh, so it's it's a marquee matchup and they and they want us to be uh, to be on national TV. And, and at this point, it appears it'll be at noon. Any more questions for coach? All right. Appreciate it. All right. Well, yeah, again, just want to encourage all our fans to come out there. Um, can't wait to see you. We're going to play the best baseball we can, and and let's make this a great weekend for all Gamecocks. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Thanks, Mark. Right, thank Thanks, Ken. Thanks, guys.